YouTube, what is happening? As you can see, today we got a major transformation on the way. It is definitely long overdue for my man. But I'm going to be showing you guys how to do a taper on this. Trim up the top from my perspective. So as you can see, I'm starting off this haircut by picking out my client's hair. Getting it nice and prepped for the cut. This is a very crucial part of the haircut because it's kind of going to show you exactly what you're working with. You're finding any imperfections and you're looking for you know anything that might hinder the haircut so now we're just gonna come in and we're gonna start establishing our bald line so I'm gonna come in with my trimmer and this is gonna be about a mid taper so I'm not gonna do it too high not too low kind of a little below the bottom of the earlobe and I am I'm gonna establish my line straight across now if you guys been watching my past few haircut tutorials um, as you can see, I've been posting from this angle and I'm curious as to how you guys feel about You know the tutorials from this angle. Um, it is definitely a lot more convenient to record the tutorial since I don't have to Move a tripod around um, But let me know down in the comments. I, I really enjoy this. I think it's creative. It's bringing something different um, to YouTube when it comes to you know These haircut tutorials. So now we're coming in and we're gonna establish our bald line on the other side as well and i've kind of been testing out different things uh with this as well i've done one where it was completely instrumentals all the way through with no voiceover then the one after that i believe i posted um raw audio so exactly how it sounded in the shop conversation and all um and then there was another one where i did it like this where i did a voiceover tutorial um, so let me know down in the comments what you guys appreciate more or like more or if you like the diversity you know what i'm saying just so i know exactly what i should bring to the table but with this video i did not do many cuts i kind of in the editing process um you know i cut out anything that doesn't need to be recorded obviously but this is pretty much raw all the way through exactly how i attacked this haircut from beginning to end this haircut took me about 55 minutes um you know so yeah i'm just taking you guys through the process you get a realistic expectation for what it looks like behind the chair in the barbershop um so yeah i'm just coming in with that bald line still balding it out as you can see we're chopping it up having some good convo my goal was to have this video um have the audio playing with an old tutorial voiceover but my mic was not working and i realized it when I went to edit this so today we're just doing a voiceover now we're using our shaver and we're gonna bald out the bottom this is just gonna, gonna allow the taper to last a little bit longer and really pop and this client specifically can handle the razor there's some clients or shavers there's some clients that can't and will bump up so you always want to ask and make sure um, you know that their skin is not too sensitive In this video today, I'm going to be talking you guys kind of little by little, um, but I really want you guys to just watch uh, the process of doing this haircut, right? I've had a lot of videos where I teach you guys step by step exactly how I do a taper, a lineup, a trim, but I'm kind of going to let you guys watch majority of this and kind of put the pieces together yourself and listen to some relaxing music. But before I do that, I'm going to grab my clipper and I'm going to come in lever open and I'm going to go up. I'm going to work on the left taper the right taper and then the back and i'm making sure every time i establish my lines that i'm going up about a finger's width um to give myself a nice you know distance and room to work with i don't like my tapers to be super compressed i like them to be you know gradual and stretched out so that's why i give myself wider guidelines and also if you guys are interested in going deeper in your haircut education um, because obviously we could bring a lot of value on youtube um but also with youtube videos also have to be entertaining so i don't want to bore you guys um with you know information that you're not looking for but if you want to go more in depth in your barber career and um learn how to do haircuts in a, in a very strategic manner where it's kind of not rushed i'm giving you guys step by step as well i give i give you business advice on how to build clientele and you'll become a part of a community um, with the people uh, uh, in the course I'm telling you about right now. So I recently just dropped the next level cutting course 
um, it is in Drake Clipper Hands Academy. So if you tap the link in my bio, you can get more info on it. Um, but yeah, basically, I just give you guys deeper education and uh, for the barbering industry, everything from how to do better haircuts, how to get clientele, and as well as how to market yourself on social media. My goal is to continue to add to this course. Um, but again, if you guys are interested in going deeper in your education, go ahead and tap the link in the bio. And I hope to see you in Jay Clipper Hands Academy. Now we're coming in with the biggest guard we are going to use. This is our two guard open. And I'm just coming in and scooping out. So we're just following the same system coming in with that open giving ourselves some room now we're gonna come in closed and we're gonna open up that lever little by little and you notice i switched to my brush because when i'm fading 
I like to have a brush to get rid of any little hairs and always lay those hairs back down when I come against the grain with the clipper. So as you can see, we're working with that lever, trying to get rid of that bottom line. And little by little, step by step, you will see this taper come together.
now as we finish off the taper here on this side as you can see we follow the same exact system that we did on the right so I'm just detailing here with my corner I know some angles can be blurry when I'm recording and that's just because I'm um, when using a DSLR, uh, DSLR camera autofocus is very sensitive um, so bear with me but now after we complete that right taper we're gonna go to the back and we're still gonna follow the same exact system so I'm just blending into the beard a little bit better And all blending into the beard is is just really a reverse taper but now as you can see we're going to come to the neck taper and we're about 16 minutes into the haircut here um so we're pr moving pretty efficiently i'm definitely not the fastest barber i like to take my time um especially when i'm recording content haircuts take a little bit longer but now we're going to come in lever open with my wall magic clip and we're going to go up about that fingers width now in the back of the neck you have a lot more surface area um to work with so i like to stretch out my guidelines just even a little wider just so i have a nice gradual blend into the hair in the back so as you can see we're coming in open and then after we fully get that open we'll close the lever halfway and attack that line and if it doesn't get rid of the line we'll close it all the way as you can see and that should pretty much get rid of that bottom bald line And your boy got some big news um a lot of you guys have been following the journey watching the vlogs uh over the past year and you guys know i've been working um towards a barbershop so if you guys stay tuned hit that uh subscribe button and hit that notification bell because my next video is gonna be a banger i'm gonna update you guys on the process and yeah it's gonna be a, a pretty exciting video i got something for you guys in the video as well so again hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you know when it drops asap you guys will not want to miss it
and right here all we're doing is some clipper over comb into the top especially with this hair texture um guards tend to not cut super evenly so any imperfections i always like to clean up with clipper over comb and now it's time to frame out the haircut so we're going to start off by lining up his nape or his neck area and we're just starting at the top of the ear and then we're going to work towards the back and it's really going to bring out all the work that we've done and also bring out any imperfections that we may need to go back in detail And on this side, I struggled a little bit more because when it got towards his lineup on the nape, I felt as if the hair wasn't as dense um, and it didn't lay down very nicely. So I couldn't catch the sharpest lineup uh, without pushing him back. Right. And I don't want to do that. So I try my best to keep this as natural as possible, even if it's not as crispy as I want it to be. But we're doing the same thing starting at the top of the ear and working our way towards the bottom.
and as you can see for the lineup i always like to prep it because it just makes it a lot easier instead of lining up a oily forehead or or a forehead that has you know residue from the product they used to style the top so i always like to spray down the lineup wipe it off and then dry it and now for the lineup you want to stand in front of the client and start in the middle and i always like to work towards the highest side first and then match the other side to that as best as possible now the lineup can be pretty intimidating so you want to make sure that you're confident when doing this um because i know for me i used to be scared because it was really the only part of the haircut where a client can directly look at your facial expressions right so you want to make sure that you stay collected you stay composed and try to get that lineup as clean and as sharp as possible while not pushing him back
and I do like to use enhancements um, on my haircuts when I think they're gonna look better so after we make sure that we get this lineup as clean as possible naturally I always like to come in with my enhancement card and my kiss express airbrush and I spray it on lightly and then darken it up as needed
now for me i know a lot of barbers like to just have the client tilt their head back and line up the bottom um, but it can be pretty uncomfortable for me and as well as i know it's uncomfortable for clients so what i like to do is uh, have them recline their head backwards and then it's easier to make that bottom line symmetrical and i don't have to break my back right so all we're gonna do is frame out the bottom following his natural line as you can see it's not really boxy it's more round so that's kind of what we're gonna follow we're gonna start in the back and then go to the bottom And now all we're doing here is prepping the top for the trim. So I'm gonna go ahead and dampen the hair, pick it out, and that's gonna get us ready to come in and trim it. Now we're not doing a lot. All we're trying to do is get rid of the ends, make it look a little cleaner, more put together. So what you have two options when you're going ahead and trimming hair that is this thick and this texture. You can freehand it with the clipper or you can come in and do some scissor work. You can freehand or do what I'm doing. So I always like to come in with my finger and pull up lightly. I'm not causing too much tension because this hair is super curly and I don't want it to be frizzy. And I'm just taking off the desired amount. And then after I, I trim it down this way, I go ahead and um, air dry it and then freehand it in order to make sure I get it nice and even and sitting on his head as best as possible.
But as you can see, I'm just dampening my client's hair, trying to get it, you know, looking as it would as if it was a normal day because obviously we combed through the hair, picked it out. I don't want it to be super frizzy. And now we're going to use our diffuser to kind of air dry it in place. We're not going to get it super dry because we want it to air dry, but it's going to shrink its curls back down and make it look um, more put together. But fam, this is the cut. I took y'all through the process with me. We gave my man a clean um, mid taper, lined up the beard, trimmed the top. Listen, if this video helped you in any way, shape, or form, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. And drop a comment down below as well. Um, but like always, I appreciate you guys. And go ahead and watch this next video for me. So what they don't tell you about becoming a successful barber is you shouldn't start off by charging $100 a haircut. And you're not going to make this absurd amount of money without first getting clients in your chair. So what I've done is put together all the information that I've learned in my nine years of being a barber into one place where I teach you about the different forms of marketing that best suit barbering to get clients in your chair. So that way you don't have to filter through tons, tons of content to find exactly what you need, as well as in-depth tutorials where I give you tips, tricks, and techniques to take your hair cutting skills to a whole nother level. So if that is something you're interested in, Go ahead and join me at Drake Clipper Hands Academy. I hope to see you there.